All right, everybody, we're back with another two hours of War Robot's life. Get yourselves ready. And then we're about to begin with some Cerberus action today. Yeah, that usual intro sound. Awesome. Get you right hi hyped and pumped. <laughs> At least that's the effect it has on me, man. Alrighty. Let's just let this run through the end. Okay. What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the next live stream session here in Warobots with our Warobots Wednesday. That's a hashtag I started back in the days, but I haven't continued it. Uh, but I, once in a while, I see it in the comments still. Uh, welcome, everybody. Thanks for being here already in the stream chat and those who are following, uh, and those, of course, who are watching later on demand. Uh, I like Manny. Thanks, man. Uh, so here we are with two Cerberus robots, both with overdrive modules. We have uh, Ivory Atomizer and Futuristic Nucleon. This is going to be a damage dealer insane. And the only thing, the only th I, I wish, I wish Pixonic would give the Cerberus a third passive module. I really wish because um, it's our community robot. That's what Pixonic said themselves. We have kind of voted for this, but unfortunately against the current meta machines, it's really not performing, you know, remotely well enough to really run it against those. But if it had a third passive, passive module slot, at least you could do something with it. And we don't yet have a legendary pilot for him. So maybe a legendary pilot could give him a third passive module slot, if that's even possible, like, you know, game code wise. Uh, or alternatively, just give it a third passive module, Pixonic. It really wouldn't make this thing overpowered compared to what we see and have on the game. And it's our community robot. Let's keep this thing relevant a little, okay? Let's keep it relevant and so that we can use it and have fun with it. Especially with the overdrive modules, it would make it much more useful to have three. Um, also, additionally, a little bit more HP would be useful. Um, but um, I could live with less HP, but that third module would be awesome. So, and we have a second one right here. And I, by the way, I know that most of you guys out there agree. Even those of you who have like three Ravana hangers and Ao Chun and, uh, and a Nightingale, even you guys say, hey, that Cerberus, it could be fun. Just give it a third module. I've seen a lot of those comments. Uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, second second one here is with uh, with dragoons and Huzar, uh, which uh, is going to be a very damaging long range setup. And for example, one thing that I need to show you before we go go and have some fun here with some gameplay, you know, the Huzar says four thousand five hundred damage. This is also something in t in case of Pixonic is look, uh, listening or watching. And John Dixon, is that right? John Dixon with a $20 super chat or donation right away. Boom. Out of nowhere, man. Thank you so much. That was fast. We barely started. Thank you, sir. Um, uh, in case Pixonic is listening, we have... Uh, very important information still missing in the game menu. It says 4,500 damage, which is like one third almost, a little bit more than one third of the damage of the Dragoon, which which makes you think, aha, um, uh, it makes you think, wow, uh, so the Dragoon is three times stronger. No, it's not, because the Huzar fires much more often than the Dragoon does. So it all together gets to a better damage output than you would think. It's not as good as a Dragoon, but it's not as bad as it looks. So having a fire rate displayed, um, wow, fun car reviews with t 10 Schweizer Franken, uh, Swiss, Swiss francs here. Hey Manny, thanks for your commitment. I highly, highly appreciate your Warbots content and The Last of Us, highly entertaining. He's referring to my second YouTube channel, Good Mood Gaming. That would be this one right here, where I'm currently playing The Last of Us remastered on the PlayStation 4. Incredibly creepy game. Check out the channel Good Mood Gaming guys if you haven't yet done it it's an absolutely immersively uh, immersive experience that playthrough it's like one of the best pc or no uh, single player you know, playstation games it's a ps4 exclusive uh, it's a really good game check it out guys um and then we have eggman plays with five dollars i'm back uh and uh I, if you don't remember me i'm from the previous live streams eggman plays i remember your name man thanks buddy 
And so let's, without further ado, let's jump into the battle. Uh, but as I said, some additional stats would be useful on um, on on the on the game menu, telling you. Wait, why do I have this microphone equipped? That's not used needed. Um, just telling us what, for example, how much uh, fire rate things have, right? Because the damage per shot and the fire rate together uh, make make the uh, the overall damage output of the weapon, the DPS, happen, right? And then telling you how long or how many shots it has before it has to reload and how long the reload is. All those information should be in the game. I don't know why it's not. It's like it should already be something you can immediately see when you, you know, look at the weapon. Uh, just a few more things. Uh, we have Rami Ch uh, Ch Butt. Hey, Manny, I love your gameplay. Thank you, sir. Um, QTG. Whoops, I've spit right here onto my finger. Um, I don't know what GG. DQ for a currency is, but thank you, sir. Much appreciated. So let's see. Oh, there's two Ravanas. See, I don't really want to fight Ravanas. I'm gonna shoot them now, but I really want that Haichi. See this guy? He's now. Oh no, I couldn't lock him and suppress him uh, because turns out he has uh, the module against that, the anti control. Come on, lock this hover. There we go. He's locked and suppressed, and now he's hurting. Ho <laughs> ho! And now imagine, ladies and gentlemen, we had the. Uh, the overdrive module already activated. Wouldn't that be insane? Let's fire at this guy up there and then suppress him too. Yeah, you're not going anywhere, son. You're not going anywhere. Do you notice that the vortex dude is never firing at me? There's a reason for that because I have an energy shield. And energy shields are something you really don't want. Oh, wait a minute. See this Haichi in the, di uh, the Aries in the distance? Something that we can punish a little bit here. Um... Okay, so we're on the on the vortex, dude. We don't have the beacon. You know what? We should actually get that beacon, shouldn't we? So let's get this guy locked if possible. Take that beacon. I don't know why we haven't taken it yet. That's a very weird move. Okay, there goes this guy. Oh, is he in range? Yes, he is. Locked and suppressed. And you are stationary for us for a little bit there, sir. Let me just back off a little because... Um, yeah, he's gonna do that now. You see the Haichi and the Ares still in the distance? That Ares wants something from me, man. And you see we still have almost full amount of HP. That's because we constantly generate HP um, with that shield. Another donation popping in. Min what is it? Min Mihai Lambian. I I'm gonna read this in a second. Give me a sec, okay? Um, I first need to survive the attacking um, our Chun right here. Is he in 350 meters range? Yes, he is. That means he's dead. Suppressed and locked and now done. Uh-oh. We have a 600 meter range Zeus um, carnage. And I guess the uh-oh wasn't necessary because boop, there he goes. Godlike. And we don't even... Uh, did I hit him? No, I missed him. We don't even have uh, activated the, uh, the, the thing. Uh, the overdrive module. And look how much damage we're already doing. You see this, right? It's insane. Okay, he teleported back. Uh-oh. Okay, now he's activated his uh, his thing. Uh, his leech ability. I'm still not having overdrive running. It would be good if he keeps shooting me for a little bit. Uh, but now he's down to lo uh, no longer having his resistance, so... I guess that's good. We can lock him. See that? I know I can lock him down. And I can even hit him a little bit. But I can't kill him. I can only lock him down, uh, but not really take him down, um, because I can shoot him like this. Okay, boop, got him. See that? He's stationary. And thankfully, we have some... Uh, yeah, that's that's really the good side of these Auchuns, isn't it? These Auchuns, that's the good thing about them, is they finally you have something against those dang high uh, Lokis. Uh, we could now scrap the robot. No, we can't because we actually don't have the beacon. I thought we have the beacon, but... Oh, we had the beacon for a little bit. But I'm helping the Titan over there. Okay, we might have it back in a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice job, sir. Uh, let's do this one here for just a few more seconds, okay? Uh, we were on a good streak, but I feel like... Uh, okay, that was a wasted shot. Look at this damage. 
and we never have to reload. This is the craziest thing about this, is we never, ever have to reload with this weapon setup. Ow, ow. Ooh, ouch. Ouchie, boobouchie. You guys are serious. You guys are crazy. Okay. Let's just corner shoot a little bit. Get that Inquisitor down there. Boop. There he goes. He's locked and suppressed. And now he's... Uh, s stealthed, but the stealth isn't working for him, because, you know, turns out I had him, um, yeah, I had him in a bad spot right there. Boop! Suppression and lockdown, and I'm pretty sure he didn't have that in mind when he came around the corner, because of the su suppression and lockdown. And you see the word, this robot works, okay? You can tell, you can tell this robot works, alright? This thing rocks, it's cool. But we need it to be a little bit more useful and a little bit better, uh, especially in regards to the active module. Here, get him locked and suppressed. And now he's standing there. Um, so, yeah, great robot, the Cerberus, but that third passive module is kind of a must-have for many things. If you want to have this thing really with, uh, with great damage output on the overdrive, you kind of need it. And I guess I deserve... Uh, I now earned myself the right to wear the living legend glasses. That's right. Um, so, uh, Mr. Krabs with 100 rubles. Hey Manny, I'm 100% sure that you can kill Ravana on Stalker. Ravana on a Stalker. Uh, that I can do this, uh, I'm pretty sure I can't. If the uh, Ravana is just remotely skilled, then I don't stand a chance with a Stalker against the Ravana, man. Sorry. Sorry, I have to disappoint you. Uh, Mihai Lamdan with a $5 super- uh, 5 pound super chat. Hey man, you see- you see the guy flying on a couch? Uh, if not, Google it. Funny. I've seen him. You mean the guy flying the uh, paraglider? Um, in- I think it was in Turkey. Turkey, uh, in the Tur Turkey. Uh, and he was flying literally a couch. He had his- his wing, like, I'm flying the paramotor and he doesn't have a motor, but he had the wing mounted to a sofa and he was flying this thing. That was ridiculous and dangerous because he, he didn't, he wasn't even strapped in on it. He just sat on a sofa flying in m many hundreds of meters altitude. Ridiculous. And <laughs> really dangerous and he didn't even have a safety chute. He, he had nothing. It was very dangerous and very stupid, but very entertaining to watch. This guy is, like, super cool. <clears throat> All right. <coughs> Excuse me. So this time we're starting with um, with this setup. You see 500 meters range, and look how much damage this um, this Ravana just took. We look like third, and you know what? Let's use this lava here to get ourselves into the overdrive damage range. Okay? Somebody could okay, because um, that's something that the lava you can use that lava very well for this. Oh, I thought I was gonna be able to get him. See, I'm, uh, I need to take a little bit more damage. I'm already in the in the damage category here for the overdrive. But if I don't want to heal past it anymore, this is perfect. Now we have the exact right amount of damage taken. And see what that means? It means the enemy is pretty much down. Almost instantly. Alright, it's just... It's so much more damage. And this is only two overdrive modules. This could be three. Um... And it would be so much better then. Okay, let's finish him. We already worked him down hard. Alright, and then down this Cerberus there. Almost killed. Oops. Okay, you know what? I think he had his ability. It's gone. Yep. That's it. Uh-oh, let's get in cover. That's a, um, a Fenrir. It's a Fenrir, yeah. And see, this is... I just love uh, how much, like damage you can do with these things but then again I also find it kind of stupid how <laughs> how powerful they are they're like stupidly powerful it's ridiculous like why are they so powerful at this long range they are like a super powerful brawling weapon and as a powerful brawling weapon look what I'm doing to this poor guy uh, he doesn't even get through my shield because I suppressed him and as a powerful brawl oh whoa 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 back in cover and see this is where the shield comes in super handy the fact that you never really take damage if you manage to get in cover fast enough. Then you really don't take any damage. Look, I, ba I basically just killed that Ares. I basically just killed the dude. He was like full HP. A second later, he was pretty much down. This guy's gonna lose his ability in two, one, and that's it. Boom, look at this. Boop. Isn't that insane? Is it just me? Am I crazy? What is going on, Pixonic? Does it really... 
I mean, I like these weapons, okay? I'm a fan of the weapons itself, but does it really supposed to do this much damage this quickly? Look, he's still locked. And that's it. That was the entire dude. Okay, his physical shoot is gonna be done. Suppressed, locked, killed, and uh, yeah. So there is another dude up there. We need to uh, cool down our weapons for a little second and then... Living legend, of course. Yeah, why not? Getting back in cover because we seem to be taking some damage. And uh, I don't want that, right? Locking, suppressing, and killing. That's what we're doing here, man. That's what we do in the Manny Town, you know this. Uh, this guy's really aimed in on me, man. But now he's like down and... Oh, he managed to get in cover. Okay, but not for much longer. Let's get this guy suppressed so he can no longer deal damage to our friend. And that's it for him. See this? And this guy too. And that's an entire Inquisitor right here. And so that this guy no longer deals damage. We got him suppressed. Nice and easy. Sweet. And... Boop. Super dip. Okay. I think I might take some damage now. Yep, but I'd rather go into the lava or ace acid uh, than into um, his fire or line of fire. So, how many kills did we just do? How much damage did we just do with a Cerberus that people consider inferior? I just want to say this, right? People think the Cerberus is a bad robot or is not worth playing. And it's your fault, Pixonic, because with like 120,000 HP or whatever, people are looking at the stats and they're like, What? That much HP? Nah. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. What? The shield only has like 50,000? You don't explain Pixonic. In the, in the stats it should say the shield regenerates such and such amount of HP per second because there is a very interesting ability on the Cerberus. It regenerates shield energy much faster than any other robot. Um, or most other robots. And uh, look, we don't even we didn't even play a Titan and we just looked like we were playing a Titan from the first second from ter terms of damage, you know? Uh, and uh, that's just really, you know, um... That's just really crazy. This thing is good, but it, it it's not good enough uh, if we want to have it as our community robot for a longer time and want to enjoy it for a longer time. That th third passive module would be an amazing help for this thing. And it would maybe help people find more interesting, like find the robot more interesting. So let's try a team deathmatch. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you like the content, and you found yourself watching from time to time and you haven't yet subscribed, which somehow I know that 60% of you haven't, then consider subscribing right now if you haven't. And uh, yeah, follow us, activate that notification bell. I am about to make another giveaway very soon. I, I just got confirmation what I can give away, but I'm not gonna uh, spoil it just yet because I wanna get you guys a um, an info um, a little bit later. Like, I wanna surprise you, okay? Let's, let's put it like it, say how it is. I wanna surprise you guys with um, with uh, with the giveaway, so um, but it's gonna come up. It's gonna be 200 things. Wait, the amount of HP he lost was that me firing at him before? Really? Get him suppressed? Oh, I couldn't. Yeah, he's still there, man. But he just used all of all of his running modes. Like now, he's pretty much done. I'm dodging the rockets here. Yeah, he used the last one now. That's the fourth one that he had. Uh oh. I got him suppressed and locked, but um, unfortunately I didn't get him killed. Uh, and I didn't know that there was so much coming up. Okay, he's locked and suppressed. That is a great opportunity for me to try and book it, but I might not be able to get it out of. Nah. That was, this scorpion uh, was a deal breaker here. The scorpion was the deal. You know what, let's try something I haven't tried in a long time. Let's try this thing. Okay. Is that an enemy? Yes, it is. He's instantly, he's instantly shielding himself. Or uh, cloaking himself. So, I actually have overdrive on this. Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, I'm actually using overdrive module on the falcon. That's why I have a little bit less HP. But I will be able to do much more damage to the enemy once I get into my sweet, sweet range spot. Okay, here we are already dealing twice the damage. I'm not going to heal just yet. Now I'm gonna heal. 
Uh, you know what? The Nemesis is not really that dangerous. I don't really care about the Nemesis at this point. Because that little bit of damage he does to me is, like, marginal at best. Um, I can hang around here for a little while and just check out what these guys are doing. Boom. With the Overdrive doing tremendous damage to this Inquisitor and uh, also having a lot of damage done to us, I think I had the buck where I wasn't healing. I'm not sure if it's true, but I feel like I had the buck where my robot wasn't healing. I activated healing, but the healing didn't come out. And I'm now going to kill that, um, that nemesis. I'm now going to take him out. I'm even going to take all the damage in the face from the storm dude right in front of me. Um, that nemesis is, is going down now. <laughs> But he, he... Yep, there he goes. Nice, somebody took him down. And the good thing is now we have increased damage output. Right? Now we have the increased damage rolling. Um, with... Three times overdrive on the Ravana. I decided to play a Ravana with something else. I didn't want to do the, the same Ravana everyone else is playing with Storm this time. This time I want to do something different. Uh, and I think the Atomizer could be fun. But if there are enemies coming for us that are using Storm Ravanas, they will probably destroy us because they're better. Let's be honest, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the Storm Ravana is much tougher. Look at the lag. It's impossible for me to hit him because he's just lagging. Then, then the targeting switches. Then the game switches to targeting in mid-fight fire. Okay, here's this guy, and he's gonna jump now. And I'm gonna do this. Boop. Not taking a single point of damage from him. Not yet, anyways. And then, taking him down. Nice. Alright. And this range is just crazy. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, it's something that only has 300 meters range. It's a cryo-freezing rockets thing. Okay, he almost died now. Unreal, look. Now he's coming out because he activated his ability. But by the way, that gives me an opportunity to speak about the leech. You just lose, you lost your resistance, sir. Um, that gives me an opportunity to speak about the leech. Uh, the, the, really? What, wait, did I just take shotgun? Yeah, I did. I did take shotgun damage. I was like, wait a minute, that felt like taking shotgun hits. And I did. I'm already losing a weapon here. That sucks. Um, the Ravana, the new legendary pilot for the Ravana, you know, um, the the one that has uh, what's it called here? That will reduce your resistance, but increases the leached damage. It's like worthless. It's like a, in my opinion, this is like the worst pilot you could ever run, uh, because. Um, it takes what what keeps the uh, the thing alive now. I only have one weapon. Okay 40,000 HP still and I already lost two out of three weapons 66% firepower gone Um, the le legendary pilot for the leech the new one. I don't like it um, Because what keeps the leech alive is the fact that it has 90% resistance, which is kind of stupid and overpowered uh, The le resistance I always said from day one it should only be 70% or so um, but they said it let, left it at, at 90%. Now, the reason why you get you get, you get to do well with this thing is because you have 90% resistance. If you reduce the resistance now and only have, like, uh, let's say, 70% uh, or 60% resistance, you're not going to do that well. Because what keeps you alive is... And yes, by the way, I see the, ti I see the Titan in the distance there. Um, I want to get the Overdrive module activated. So that I can really punish him well. For that, I need to do some damage to me. Okay, but now I can't kill him because he actually is hiding behind the wall. Unless... I go tricky mode and jump on him. But I don't think... You know what? I think I just saw another... A, a, a juicier target. Okay. What... Wait a minute, my jump didn't work. Oh, he lags and Oh, come on, the legs are just so insane. 
The lags are out of control in this game, man. Seriously, it has never been as bad as it is right now. Uh, or right now, I'm having the biggest issues with lag that I ever had. Okay, here we go. But we already lost a lot of weapons, so we're not doing the full amount of damage to him anymore, sadly. How long is this guy alive already? Red Takats, you have been alive for at least four minutes or five. Over and over to my face the whole time, man. Okay. I'm going for him, but again, he just lags. He just lags into cover. There's like nothing I can do. He just, as soon as I jump, it's, it starts to lag. As soon as I stump, uh, jump up and want to do something, it lags. Immediately. Suppression? No, I couldn't suppress him. He's got anti-control. The lags are just broken. The game is just broken completely with these lags, man. It's like so unenjoyable when you jump on someone. When you use an, a scorpion, for example, you jump on your enemy and you want to do well. You like you want to you want to take him down. You jump on the enemy. The game freezes for three seconds. The enemy freezes for three seconds. Where do you go? I don't know. I don't know. And boop, he teleports. He's somewhere and you don't find him and you teleport back with your scorpion. That was your ability run. And you probably even took some damage from some dude. Because the game lags so much. You can barely jump on someone with a scorpion without lag hopping, uh, uh, jumping in and preventing you from doing a good job there. So insane, man. I mean, if that, if that doesn't deserve to be top-notch priority one uh, to solve from Pixonic, then I don't know what is, man. This is like... Number one priority above anything else. There is nothing else that's more important than fixing the lags because it makes this game seem like an inferior product. It same makes this game seem inferior to how what potential it actually has. These lags. Alright, so uh, let's walk around the corner. We got him locked, but I'm unfortunately I can't really do much damage to him because I don't have a brew uh, rushing setup. Uh, Aiden Garcia with two dollars. Thanks, man. John Boy with two pound. Uh, yeah. Thanks, sir. S suppress and locked. Uh, taste of your own medicine, huh? Yeah, you don't like that. Because... He also likes to suppress. And boom, suppressed again. Although in this case, I guess it was worthless because you have already done. Vazar David with 400 HUF. Keep it up, ma must try Exodus Behemoth Overdrive. Oh, we have a, a friend coming in here. And boop! Suppressed and locked, and he can barely go through my shield now. Now that he comes out of it, he can do damage again, but we can do damage too. And the match is over. Titan Slayer, yes! Okay, let's put the glasses away. I need to earn them for the next match. Use only beacon capture and free fall to earn gold. Um, Raniel, somebody says. Uh, I don't know, I couldn't see the name. Like, this is the crazy thing with the. I did 5.2 million damage, really. I did not play the Titan because I find Titan the, the gameplay too dominant. It's like, sometimes, sometimes Titans drop in at like 3 minute mark and they change the entire match. It's, it's kind of, and that's why I usually try and play the robots and not so much the Titan. Uh, unless I know it, it needs to be ha done in order to win the match maybe. Uh, but 5.2 million damage here with uh, not even running. Um, a Titan is kind of crazy. Wow. Almost out 2,000 people here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It really means a lot to me to have you guys always here. Uh, this is just insane. You guys are the best. You tune in every week, man. I really appreciate this so much. So greetings to every single one of you out there. So let's start with... Uh, you know what? Let's start with the Ares this time. Um, and see what we can do. Do you like the new pilot system? Alex is asking. No. Uh, the pilots have become like 10 times more expensive. On my own account, I literally, I think I spent like 15,000 gold. 15,000 just changing one pilot. One pilot! And the thing is, I even had the type pilot leveled. All I wanted to do is swap the pilot from one robot to another robot and make his skills used there. Sorry, Pixonic, but if you're increasing the price by like five times, then I think you've got to give us something back for it. In my opinion, if you have a pilot level to whatever level now, it should remain 
Like, you swap it to a different robot and immediately it works with the same skills. The skills you had before, if they can be applied to the same robot, the skills that can be applied, they work. There is like, it's so insanely ridiculous that you now have, that you have to, um, to do this. Let's jump. Ha ha! Jump away! I'm not using my shield. Do I think, do I need a shield of the Ares to break a Ravana? Heck no! I only need a jump unit! <laughs> Uh, no, I, uh, the, the good thing is he walked through this long range and he had to come in from such a far away that he had to use all his abilities. This guy is literally corner shooting. Look, he now locked me down with lockdown ammo. That's like his strategy apparently. <laughs> Alright, corner shooting with lockdown ammo and then trying to do something with it, I don't know. Uh, but that's that's too boring. Sorry, Jack Solo, whatever your name is. I'm gonna go somewhere else where I can have some fun, where it's not some shoulder is sticking out of the corner and that's all I get. Okay. Um, there isn't much to shoot here right now. Why are they- two players are missing somehow. Yeah, here comes the guy. I could jump on him and kill him but now, but uh, I would probably die afterwards, so... And I kind of try and want to try and keep that Ares alive if I can. The, pro the biggest problem would be a jumping, uh, no, would be a scorpion. A scorpion just teleporting behind us and taking us down. That would be the worst thing. You know what? Let's get into overdrive range with the lava again and help out here in the meantime. Yep, overdrive is activated, as you can clearly tell. Somebody's coming here. Overdrive is lost again. We need to activate overdrive. Oh, man. How fast he just goes down is so crazy. Look at this guy. -da 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 -da. Having some fun with your HP pool, man. Let's give me that overdrive. Thank you. Uh, it's like... Oh, uh, nope. Nope. Okay, see this mender? <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking, man, but that uh, just standing there... When an Ares is about to walk out to the side. Yeah. Look at the lag. He would be dead now. He would be dead now, but he lags in cover. He lag he literally lags into cover. So crazy. It's like it's all the time. It's everywhere now. Lags are all everywhere. Why am I not suppressed? I thought he hit me with the suppression shot. Okay. Oh, look at this dude. Oh, he insta, he insta, <laughs> uh, insta stealths. He doesn't want to get, but it's a smart thing to do. If you see an overdrive Ares shooting you with four quarkers or like atomizers and quarker combo, you better insta fly because man, if he gets you with that, that's going to be it for you. Look at this guy. Was that a leech? I'm not even sure what it was, dude, but he was like down in one hit. Uh, in, in two seconds. Really? Nobody spawned behind me? Alright. Beyond Godlike. Living Legends. <laughs> okay then. Let's do it. Oh! A behemoth! Oh, this guy is gonna be dead in a second. Look at this. Oh! <laughs> Look, 80% resistance on this guy. 80% resistance. It looks like I'm firing with a titan weapon, and now he has no resistance, and look what happens. Okay. So, insta-lock. Uh-oh, don't jump! Don't do it! Oh, mistake! That was a big mistake, sir! Oh! <laughs> Dude! A jumping Ares with eight we- no, 16 weapons due to the overdrive. And these guys are like, hey, how about I drop my resistance and just jump through his- a circle of aiming. Oh, that was so bad. That was so crazy, man. He insta-locked me again. And now he wants to, I don't know, have some fun with me or whatever, but... Okay. Woohoo! Yep! That, that's an Arthur right there. And he didn't have his shoot up. Look what he looks like now. Yep! That's what an Arthur looks like after I'm finished with him. Oh, let's finish this guy real quick. And this guy maybe too? Yeah, and then because, you know, it's just so much fun, let's just keep going. 
Uh-huh. Another dude. Okay, let's go for it. Maximum damage. Oh, the Nodens. Oofy doopy doopy. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice suppression, Karam. Karam. Good, good call, man. Good call suppressing me here. And look, this is like the damage you would expect from a Titan. This is not the kind of damage you expect from a normal robot. Jack Solo, can somebody please kill this dude? He's like so annoying. Every time he's like jumping up, trying to lock me. Then of course I just use my shield and I... Oh. Did you just listen to what I said? Mind clear. I said, can somebody just take him out? And he was like, I got gotcha, you, buddy. Boom, and he's dead. Okay, so what do we have coming over here? It's a Nightingale. Okay. I can take a few suppression shots from a Nightingale. That's not gonna hurt me. Uh, I hope he doesn't have face shift. Because if he doesn't have face shift, then he's dead right now. He's dead right now. Oh, he thought he could walk inside my shield. Oh, no, come on. Oh, oh and he has face shift. Okay. But, uh, yeah, Dreamer is back. Uh, Mind Clearer. You're my hero, dude! Mind Clearer is the best, dude. He comes in with this weapon every time, like, finishes off the dudes I can't reach. This guy's awesome. I love him. Mind clear. No! Wow, Jack saw you. You killed Mind Clearer. Okay, let's do this. What are you? I need to know what you are before I can fight you. It's a leech. Okay. I need to bait his ability somehow. I don't know how I... I remember it's the guy who corner shoots 10 minutes. Like, he's okay with corner shooting for 10 minutes. He doesn't need to any action. He just sits there, holds out one weapon to the side, and is like, woohoo, yes, that's fun. Okay, here he is now. Uh, unfortunately, I just lost the weapon. Um, but yeah. Bye! Oh, yes! Oh, almost! I almost got him. And the next leech is also down almost. I'm gonna die now, but, uh... Yo, I almost took them both with me. Did you see that? They didn't expect to get, like, one-tapped uh, with the... Oh! I accidentally swapped into the Titan, but match is over anyways. Let me read some donations. We have uh, Keaton Yost with five. Oh, wait, that's a Patreon pledge. He pledged on Patreon. He's becoming a patron on the Patreon page. Uh, awesome. Keaton Yost, thank you for joining me on Patreon and supporting me in the channel like this. And, uh, yeah, I'll say hi to you after the stream, okay? Um, Wolf Titan 101 with a one super dollar super chat. Hey, thanks, dude. NB Art ten dollar super chat jump unit, the most fun module in the game, dude. It's definitely the case for some of the robots. You know, let my team handle the rest. It's not. I'm not really needed here anymore. Uh, Jason Fleming uh, with five pound. Uh, hey, Manny, uh, is Igniter or Ravana? Uh, no, is Igniter uh, on Ravana better than Ravana Atomizer? No, Atomizer is better. Atomizer is better than everything except that's the only exception storm and the shotguns right now on the on the Ravana because the Ravana makes use of the shotguns perfectly um, Whereas the other things don't right uh, the other weapons they have a downside in terms of range and um, it, it, Like the shotguns have a downside in range which the Ravana just skips. It doesn't have any problem with range um, And that's why it's so So good. What is it? What do you have? Oh, a phantom. A phantom with stealth unit, apparently. And face shift. Yeah. That face shift is gone, sir. Okay. I guess he's trying to survive the match. But he won't because he's getting attacked from... Well, maybe he might be. He might be. 20 seconds? It's gonna be hard for him to survive this long. <laughs> okay. He, he wanted to corner shoot. There's no corner shoot in here. There. Oh, hello! You know what we do to titans? We just fly over them with the Aoming, right? That's what we do in order to take them down. He would have died in a second now. Um, but yeah, John Boy, I said that. Aiden Garcia, yup, got you guys. I caught up with the donations. Nice. Hi, money, money. Hi, money, money, money. Uh, team Magic Magician says, hey, dude. <laughs> um, Four million damage, pretty much. Almost exclusively with the Ares. I... Did I really just run the Ares the whole match? Okay, cool. Uh, let's test um, the says the blah, 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 the Cer Cerberus in free for all. We might lose now because the Cerberus is um, is not a free for all bot. Ravanas are a free for all bot. Scorpions also. Um, 
the 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 Cerberus is not that powerful in free fall. Um, because if, especially when the enemies are running Ravanas and such, they can just. That's the problem that I have with it, that you cannot even lock it down. If you could lock down the Ravana, it would be okay, because at least you can have it, you know, stopping it for a second. So maybe we can come in and just steal a kill somewhere. It's two Ravanas. You know what? Let, let, let them have fun with each other. I don't care. You guys, you guys have fun. That's cool. Oh, this guy. Why are you flying now? In case you're seeing yourself on the stream, dude, why are you now flying? What makes you think you're gonna do something useful with that flight ability here? Right? What makes you think that, sir? Um, that flight ability... Yeah! The Corona scored the kill! With its two bullets that he somehow sprayed in. That two bullets that shot him, that hit him at, at this range, they got the kill. Lockdown and suppression, okay, worthless, and Ravana. So, third Ravana already. I got no chance against this robot, absolutely none. I can't beat this. I need to make him use as many abilities as I can, and then try and catch him. When he comes out of this mode, that was perfect. See, he's now locked. Um, but see, he just removes the lockdown. He just removes the lockdown completely, and uh, yeah, so he just uses the ability. And this guy's like, okay. Oh, and this other guy's also like, okay, let's go for this guy. Look, I, they are all next to each other. They're not... Pff, they want the weak Cerberus. This is why this is not a... This isn't a robot for free fall. I'm timing it, I'm timing it. There we go. Suppression and lockdown for you. That means he's doing less damage now, and I actually have a chance. But you have the ti you have to have the timing. Perfect. If you want to beat a Ravana in this kind of battle. The timing must be absolutely insanely perfect. Oh, this is something. Okay. It's an invader. Okay. Face shifting for the moment. Let's see if we can finish this kill. Yep. Okay. And now we get probably killed. Yep. Um, but let's let's keep let's keep doing this. Maybe we can magically win the match. I don't think so because our enemies are more powerful. See this Auchun? The Auchun is like, okay, I'm gonna go for the weak Cerberus. Because everyone knows a Cerberus is a complete free kill. You just go for him and you take him down. What what are you what are you gonna do? I don't even have last stand on this thing, right? Oh, he's got... Oh, what? Why? By the way, why are you not suppressed or locked? Huh? You should be suppressed and locked, dude. Again! Again, no suppression and no lockdown. What the heck? Dude, what? It's these lags. It's these... It's these lags, man. Oh, to the right. To my right. But I got the kill. Th if I hadn't... Face shifted here. I would have died and didn't get the kill. Why am I first? I should never be first. I see only meta. I see Auchuns. I see Ravanas. I see Nightingales. I see nothing but meta. The only things they have here is absolute meta stuff. I, I'm not, I shouldn't really be first here. I don't... There is no reason for me to be first. Ah. <laughs> okay. He starts to fly. Maybe I can kill that. MY KILL! Okay, that was lucky. That was incredibly lucky. See, there's only Nightingales, Auchuns, and, uh, and, and Ravanas on the battlefield. This is the- Oh, and one Invader. That's right, there was one Invader. The Invader is not the strongest meta machine, but it's- It's not bad either. Is he locked? No. Oh, I could not lock him down. Alright, trying to score that kill. Yep. Nice, got it. Nightingale. And that, the one thing that the Cerberus has for it, going for it is that... Oh, no, not a Ravana. See, like, he will follow me to the end of the earth because I can't beat him. I need... He needs to... Like, he's following me everywhere now. And he's like, oh, cool, look, another Cerberus. Such an easy free kill. And he's like, oh, cool, he's already working down the HP, so I have an yet an easier time later when I come around the corner. See that? They're not even considering for a second to fight each other, because why would they? I got nothing to throw back against them. I've got nothing here, no chance. This is a complete free kill for these guys. Thankfully, the other... Wait, what? He got the kill? Did you just see what happened? 
he got the kill despite having his invincibility activated. He activated his invincibility and he got the kill a second or two later. Wow, that's ridiculous. Okay, he just flew, so he's not going anywhere now due to the lockdown and suppression. But we can still do something here. We have firepower. Look, he comes in with the one thing again I can't beat. But what I can do, if he is the only player now, if he's the only guy engaging me, I can make him use all his modes, but he is not the only player engaging me. Because if you see a, a Nightingale, like uh, um, a Cerberus like this, what you do, you come for him. By the way, he got the kill despite being suppressed, too. So now I can no longer run this. So what do we do? Let's run the uh, the Ravana with I, um, Atomizer, because it's the closest thing I have to it. He was suppressed, and he still got the kill. Before that, I think he was suppressed, and he also got the kill. So he has got both kills despite being fully suppressed. Okay. So he's regenerating all his damage modes right now. I'm trying to make him use his... Um... Yep. And when you fight Ravana versus Ravana, you have to be the one coming out of the invincibility. See, that's what he's going to play for. He wants to be the one coming out of the invincibility. That's... See? That's how you play Ravana versus Ravana. I'm not going to play with this. I am the one coming out of the invincibility. Okay. I still have enough abilities for you ready, sir. I, I have many rift. I have- I'm getting another one very soon. Trying to dodge him. Okay, got this kill. Ooh, wow, that was a free kill here. Oh, this is gonna be interesting, okay? Alright, I'm gonna flee from the titan. Come on around the corner. Let's- let's ignore the titan. You and me, dude. It's just you and me. With unlimited firepower, never having to reload, even a falcon is a fun, free, uh, fun, fast kill. Uh-oh. Not exactly what I wanted. Is the Titan following me? No. Okay, good. I'm just corner shooting here. But we have overdrive running, so we're actually doing some decent damage to him. Um, I guess it's just a matter of time. But seriously, ladies and gentlemen, we shouldn't really be first. Ooh, I, uh... Seriously, Ravana's need to be suppressible and lockable. That it needs to happen. You need to be able to suppress and lock a Ravana. And he needs to, I mean, what I need- what I mean by this is he needs to stay locked and suppressed. That's the important part. That's the thing that I mean, right? I'm not talking about just locking him for a second. I'm talking about he needs to remain suppressed and locked. He needs to remain that after his uh, ability use. And then the Ravana would still be ridiculous, but at least some you could slow him down a little. You could prevent him from reaching the be beacon. You could prevent him from getting inside your shield if you utilize lockdown weapons, which is the perfect pur purpose of lockdown weapons. I, I, I will not stop saying this. I will not stop complaining about the Ravana ever until this is happening. Until the Ravana is uh, is more balanced and overall uh, you can deal with it a little bit. Because it's just stupid. It's stupidly overpowered and, and dumb how it just negates and deactivates any negative effect on the uh, that that, you, that the game has. Uh, okay. And, and then look how many invincibilities I have. Somebody firing at me? Pff, no problem. I'm just gonna walk around him. And I even get fast. I even get fast while doing this. Why do I get a speed boost on top? Did it really need that? Ah. I don't like this thing. But I, I know you guys like it, or some of you guys do. Some of you guys have... When I'm playing Champions League, I see three Ravanas in every second hangar already. It's like so... So try hard. It's so try hard. Seriously. If you run three maxed Ravanas in your hangar right now, this is like maximum tryhard. It's like, okay, I want to play the game in easy mode and make it as easy and as l the least challenging as possible. 
I say that while I'm playing the Ravana, by the way. But I wanted to play the Cerberus. I only... I couldn't spawn back into him. Oh, uh, what do we have here? Frederick Fletcher with a $5 super chat. You first because of your skills. I enjoy uh, how you complain out about Ravana. It's always awesome content. Yeah, man, this thing needs to be changed. It's like every time the latest content must be so ridiculously overpowered that it's stupidly boring to play it because you just dominate everyone who doesn't have the exact same thing. That's how it's always... Uh, we're often with those top-end meta machines and the nerf will come. We all know it's going to come. It's just a matter of time before m enough people have the Ravana and then it comes. So stupid, I think. Really, sorry, but the Ravana is just stupid. If you could lock it down, if you could suppress it and it remains locked and suppressed with the ability, then at least you had a chance. No, why? No, I didn't want... I didn't mean to jump into the Ravana. I wanted to jump into something else. Can I... Wait. Can I... Do I make it? Let's see. Yes! Yes, I made it! Perfect. I did not want to play the Ravana. I'm complaining so much about it, I don't want to play it. I'm gonna change the back. I'm gonna change a different robot later. It's just... I don't... I Just... This thing needs to change. It's just stupid. Um... So, Matt Matt with one uh, play, one dollar pledge on Patreon. Hey, Matt Matt, thank you, sir, for joining us uh, on the play. Uh, also, I'm going to uh, say hi to you, too. Here is a Ravana, by the way. Guess what he's going to do now? Yes, he activates. He presses a button. Yes, when you press a button, then you disable every negative effect in the game. Because that's balancing 101, as we all know. Here, I'm going to suppress him again. And guess what he's going to do? That's right. He's going to press a button. And this time, it was the blue button for the face shift. Same problem. I'm outplaying him <laughs> pretty well. Uh, but that's only really because he's kind of... L I don't know, he's kind of letting me do this. But uh, because he's at long range. Now, here we have a different player, okay? That's a guy who knows what's going to happen. He has um, lockdown web. Uh, he's got storms. Uh, and uh, he runs in close and he does the full damage. And now he's getting an angry. I'm getting locked, I'm locking and suppressing him again, and he pushes a button again, I push the same button so I have a little, a little chance to survive a, t a few extra seconds, and then try and suppress him, but I've got no chance. No matter how I outplay him, how much skill I use to counter the, the knowledge of exactly when his ability ends, and when to send the next, um, the next suppression, it doesn't matter. Skill is not relevant against Ravanas, it just is not relevant. You don't need skill. He need he didn't need skill. Not at all. He just beat one of the players that you guys consider one of the best, and he made me look like a fool. I couldn't beat him, no matter how much I try. It's Ravana for you. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay. Um, but now the Ravana has something that he doesn't like to fight. This is the this is one of the things that you can do to annoy the heck out of Ravanas. Dodging him constantly, like, switching movement direction and he misses his shot. I'm suppressed now. Uh, what? Wait, I accidentally pressed the healing button. I didn't mean to do that. Um, but yeah, I think I've complained enough about the Ravana. I just wanted to explain you really well in detail what my problem with it is. And I think that was the prime example. I could never have explained it any better than what I've just done and shown you. I outplayed him level 10 billion, right? That was outplayed 10 times and he still won. Like, no matter what I do. I'm not even, you know, I'm not even running shotguns or anything. I'm not running the strong setups uh, that would instantly deal a ton of damage to him. Um, but he still <laughs> beat me, beat me in a square. Uh, I just heard their plan to increase the time to regenerate Ravana abilities. Um, well, that's not going to be enough. Seriously, that's not going to be enough. Just, re just making the ability take longer to regenerate, that's not going to be enough. They gave him a third ability. As if it hasn't been ridiculous enough, they gave him a third ability with the legendary pilot. Oh, he just dropped his resistance. That's cool. Thank you, man. So that's why I like to run a Falcon now, because it annoys the heck out of Ravanas. <laughs> it's that it's what they hate. They hate Falcons. Um Increasing the ability regeneration time, and not just one second, I mean, really increasing it. So that you can't have it that many times. And, um... 
and then having the and then stopping him from being able to de disable every negative effect those things if you combine those changes and the ravana would still be the top one overpowered machine uh but at least some you could stop him for a bit you can stop him and prevent him from you know getting into uh perfect range and, and into your beacon and whatnot so right now we're shooting with with uh two um two glories basically see how they're trying to come for us there oh he landed meanwhile dude i think this felt the this the falcon with overdrive unit is actually very powerful seriously Let's run this a little more. I tried this the first time now. I think... Uh... Wait, what? Why was this comment removed? What? My goodness, uh... Maxwell Elliott says Cerberus legendary pilot is second ability charge. Oh, yeah I know why it's removed because you used all capital letters Maxwell Well, if you want your messages not to be removed by Nightbot then no excessive use of capital letters symbols or repeating things and digits, okay? Um, that's why uh, Ed H uh, what emulator are you running right now? I'm running the uh, LD player 4.2 Zero two five. It's the one that runs most stable now. Apparently, people have told me that, and uh, yeah, I appreciate it. it really helps, um, and it runs really much better. LD player, it's called. Yeah. So let's. Oh no, I wanted to change the Ravana out. I'll do that next time. Um, but let's let's stop complaining for the rest of this live stream about the Ravanas. I've said everything I had to say, but I guess get. I will say it again. I won't shut up about this thing. I won't shut up about it. And I will never shut up about things that are horribly balanced uh, and misbalanced. I will never shut up about, about those things because it, it just un it's, makes the game unbearable and stupid at times. So he's got to have, he's got to use his ability now. You can tell he tried to get into the cover and corner, uh, but uh, it didn't work. Here, let's s suppress him again and lock him again and he's done. That was a legendary pilot even on this guy. That was a very powerful meta bot that we just won on uh, one on one. Oh, I got him! I got him with a suppression shot. I act to be honest, I didn't think we were gonna get him because it looked like he was gonna lag around the corner, but I somehow got it. Okay, again suppressed and locked. Ostwind. It's a Flakpanzer in German. Something is behind me now. Oh, it's a Ravana. Forget it. I'm not even going to bother fighting it. I'm gonna try and go for this guy instead. Nope, he makes it around the corner. Very sad, but he did make it. You did not lose your lock-on? Are you kidding me, dude? You didn't lose your lock-on. That's, that's outrageous. That's outrageous. You jumped over my head and you did not lose your lock-on doing so. That is outrageous. I'm gonna ignore the Ramana and let him kill me. Bye-bye. So next robot, Phantom. A falcon. So dumb. And then they want to nerf the shotguns. Unreal. They want to nerf the shotguns because the problem is somehow the shotgun and not the Ravana. Ugh. I can't tell. I can't tell you enough how much I disagree with that. And I've sent the feedback in, by the way. I've sent this feedback multiple times to Pixonic that nerfing the shotguns is not the right way. The shotguns aren't a problem, the Ravana is. So let's get this guy from behind, maybe we can lock him. Oh, that's actually an enemy. Okay, I need to lose some HP anyways. So I get overdrive damage, which we have right now. But let's finish first the Ares, okay? So he doesn't get another ability. Okay, but the problem is they will, they will respawn here now. And they respawned a Ravana, that's good. Let's annoy this Ravana a little bit. But first I kind of want to take down this guy. But the Ravana has to die first. No, no, I want to take the, the Ravana first. Okay, boom. And he face shifts again. Because why not? 
We have a lot of enemies. I'm suppressed too. Let's get this guy in a one-on-one -on -one brawl because right now the others can't reach me here. Got getting him suppressed. That phantom is starting to annoy me. Let's hurt him. Okay. I'm going to get this phantom now. He's been he's been long and alive for long enough. Locking down the invader. See, this is what what's interesting is you can annoy the heck out of all those um, Ravanas with a with a falcon like this. And they literally throw their entire team at me when I'm there. And my team has meanwhile captured the entire rest of the base. That's cool. <laughs> That's crazy. Capturing the whole map. All right, let's use the Ares. Don't worry, I'll want to take damage. You know that, right? You know I want to take damage, so that I get the uh, overdrive damage. Right now, here we go. And uh, that's it for the Fenrir now. Wow, this guy has some juice. <laughs> That was a well-leveled Ravana, as a Fenrir right there, dude. That was an incredible rockets. Okay, got to be careful about those rockets. Okay. Oh, he's going down fast. Look at that Haichi. Oh, he's dodging. Okay, he's face shifting. I kind of want to kill the Titan though, but um, he's hiding behind this wall. No, the Titan got killed. He was leeching, but he got killed like instantly. He's gonna let me run into the rockets, but I'm gonna get him down anyway, so... I knew I, I was gonna take a lot of damage from this. Oh, look! And it was worth it! And... <laughs> Dude! Oh man! That is just unreal. If you think the Titan did a lot of damage, this guy, no. 70% of that damage was just the Ares. I'm not even joking. Not he did the damage. The Ares did the damage here. And now he wants to take revenge. Now he's gonna uh, laser at, uh, come at me. Is he in range? Oh, uh, okay. I wanted to get the Titan. That's that's what I'm. The right. The reason I died now is because I jumped towards him. I thought I could get the Titan in range. Uh, but unfortunately, I couldn't get the Titan. Um, he was at six, 570 meters or so. That's an Aochun right there. Uh, taking a look at the uh, donation messages, Rowi Casilla. Uh, do you know where my dad has been? Fan, by the way. What? Do you know where my dad has been? Uh, uh yeah, sure. He, he he called me before. Uh, he told me that he just had to go to the grocery store real quick and get some milk. Um, apparently you were running out of milk. I don't know. I don't. What? 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 What, <laughs> what do I know where your daddy is? But uh, it's an interesting question. One that surprised me. Uh, so, uh, we did 4 million damage again without a Titan, which is cool. And we need to change the Ravana out. Let's do something else instead of the Ravana. Although, I think with the Atomizer, at least, you know, it doesn't boom, boom, and you're dead with the shotguns, you know? With the Atomizer, at least he also needs a little bit of time to kill you. Um, but still, it's a Ravana with all those invincibilities. Let's do something else instead. Uh... Pursuer! Hey, yeah! Let's do a Pursuer, man! It's been a long time since we ran a Pursuer last time. Let's do this. Alrighty. I think I lost 100 viewers because I was complaining too much about the La Ravana here. We were at 2,000, now we're 1,900. I, 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 uh, I put some of you guys, I pushed you away because of too much complaining. Sorry about this, but I just, as I said, I can't, I can't help it and I... And I need to need to uh, speak out about those things. Well, that's something that some people might might find annoying sometimes when I go too crazy. But that's the exact same thing other people find uh, good about watching me that I that I that I somehow un are unable not to uh, you know 
basically to stop myself from from expressing my uh, my dissatisfaction with things like that. All right, so lockdown here and damage. Okay, I'm getting hit. I'm going to stealth. It's a pursuer. Remember, we have stealth. Uh oh, that's uh, okay. I I, I, I used his uh, his mode there. You see, uh, he he had us. Oh, uh, he's down there. Hold on, hold on. Maybe we can catch him before. Uh, no, he just teleported back. Okay. What well, would be good if we could catch his point next time he teleports onto somebody? I almost got the guy locked, whoever it was. Here he is. Why are you not using your suppression ability, dude? Okay. Here he is, and we know where he's gonna go. When he teleports back, we know where he's gonna go. Okay, he goes nowhere. Because somehow... Yeah. Oh, that's not a good position to be in, by the way. Woo! Ooh! Woo, did you see that vortex coming in? Jeez! I just saved my butt in the last second there from the vortex hit. Alright, pursuer time. Okay, he's leeching. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and bye bye leech ability. That's it for you, dude. Okay, I still hope I hope I still have the ability to get the stealth back. Yep, I do. We're running in stealth again. Right now. Second stealth ability very shortly after. Let's annoy them here. And try to play this uh, this thing right. Let's try... Oh, we're losing the last stand, so I may as well just expose myself a little longer, right? If my last stand is ticking anyways, I may as well just use it and enjoy it. Oh, another donation is coming in! I don't understand why sometimes the donations are like bringing up this sound effect and this this picture and some other times it doesn't okay I almost got him man but I couldn't quite get him because he's counter healing that's right but now we can see ladies and gentlemen the pursuer it is still awesome because there are so many people who are like uh the Pursuer isn't really good anymore, and I don't know, I'm just not having good matches. I think the Pursuer is great. Uh-oh, that was a bad idea, because he has a legendary pilot, so he is gonna see me. Let's bring him down to last stand, and then book it. No, and then finish him off. Haha. <laughs> Do you see the guy? Turkey, he just activated his, leech, uh, his, his suppression ability. Oh wait, he's got Zeus on it. I don't want to get hit by that. Ooh, he's doing a lot of damage to me here. Oh, and I lost my middle weapon now. Let's try and fake to go to the left and then abruptly change to the... Wow, apparently he didn't even understand that. Yep, I phase shifted through his ability. And now I'm inside. Uh, I'm inside his shield. I could be having some decent fun with him here, and I have. Yeah, I'm still alive in the pursuer. I sadly lost a weapon, but um, yeah, still gonna have some fun. Okay. You have some freezing rockets, I presume. And unfortunately, he can actually hit me with those. But I'm hitting him better than he hits me. You know what's funny? I'm just gonna do it for the heck of it. Just face shifting one more time to get killed by someone else. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm not giving the kill to a Ravana. No. <laughs> Screw that. Uh, no Titan. Let's do this again. Five minutes left on the clock. Okay. NBR. I like the criticism, but going on about it is uh, pointless and does ruin the good mood. A title. Uh, a little. Maybe a happy medium is in order. Uh, I guess you got a point there, NBR. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, and that's probably what I should be doing. Uh-oh. A titan is something I don't want to fight. I'm gonna stay away from this titan for the entire battle. Uh, because... 
he can bypass my resistance, and that's the thing that keeps me alive. Uh-oh, another Titan. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay here for a little while. No one else here, huh? Oh yeah, we have a Nightingale. Okay, so let him go get him locked and shoot him. Dude, he is taking some damage there. Boom. Boom. And now I'm not even having overdrive running. It would be helpful to get overdrive. Maybe I should let the Titan shoot me for a second. Come on, Titan. Get me for a bit. I need to catch his attention. How do you do this best? Going on his nerves. Like this. That's right. I'm, I'm standing still so he doesn't miss me. Uh, he's not going for me, though. Because he hates Rava and uh, Nightingales, too. I also am one of those players who hates Nightingales. Uh, when I'm in a Titan or something, because, you know, they're, like, incredibly annoying. Come on, sir. Could you please do me a favor and shoot me down to last? Why are you ignoring me? Okay. Alright, boom, 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 boom. The glory is really a good weapon, dude, on this falcon. Okay, so I guess that's gonna be, um... He's still not shooting me. It's like he knows I want to be shot at. Alright, so let's annoying, like, turn him around. So what are you gonna do now? Finally, you're shooting me. Okay, good. A little bit more, though. I need a little bit more. Your your area effect? Okay, a little bit more. I need a little bit more, because I'm regenerating past the... Uh... Dude, what are you doing? Oh, he's, he's just not helping me with that. Okay, now these guys are coming in. And now, unfortunately, everybody is hitting me, and I can't actually shoot anyone right now. That's a bit of an unfortunate thing. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. He thought I'm low on health, but guess what? I'm doing double damage now. Boom. And also to him. Boom. 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 Before the shield of his breaks, I've got him from behind. Really an interesting combo, I've got to say, man. Wait, I think I can hit him. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, I almost killed him! Did you see that? He came out of his ability and he was pretty much dead. He like, one HP left. What the heck? XXX Luzor Lucas. But Luzor is, is written in a different way. L-U-S-O-L. Um, interesting. Um, so he said, Manny, I enjoy your livestream so much. Uh, thank you, sir. And also, thanks, uh, yeah, thanks for the message and the two uh, euros. Uh, we have Raging Idiots again with a $20. Boom! Uh, Raging Idiot, thank you for being here again. <laughs> It's awesome to have you back again. Spartan Ning, Ning uh, 329 wanted to do donate, so I did it for him. Give him a hello, Manny. Oh, Spartan Ni Nice or Niche 329. You just got a, um, basically, you got a gifted uh, uh, super chat message, if you will, uh, by Raging Idiots. He gave you this. Uh, by, by giving it to me, man. Thank you so much, Raging Idiot. And I'm pretty sure that Spartan Niche. Um, Ning, Ning 3 to 9 is appreciating this. Let's annoy him a little bit more by just, you know, healing, counter healing, dodging, dodging, staying inside the shield of the, 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 the Hades from behind. Yeah, not even the Titan can kill this thing when it, when the weapons aren't maxed. And we have Donny Greasy with $2 super chat money. The Ravana is like ri uh, rider to comment section. Is like a writer to comment section. Huh? You mean our moderator writer? Like, devastating? Is that what you're trying to say? It's kind of a funny one. Oh, by the way, Raging Idiot did another $50 super chat before. Wow, I didn't even see that. Uh, bro, I'm in school watching this on the laptop. Uh, you know, I'm not sure what schools you guys have over where you are. Back when I was at school, first off, I couldn't even pull... Okay, first off, we didn't have smartphones back then. I had a Nokia... Oh, what's, what's the name? This bulky one. Uh, 3290? 3250 or whatever the name was? I don't know. 
Um, and there was, uh, it had a color screen. It had a colored screen, dude. It was already one of those super good ones, you know? Um, that's what I had back in school. Um, and then, um, later in the, uh, uh, you know, uh, later, uh, uh, further schools, basically, um, we, uh, we had smartphones, and if I got caught with a smartphone somewhere, I got, I basically could have had a punishment, like getting, having to come in for, uh, uh, for an extra evening or something that I didn't want, uh, anticipate or want to do. Let's start with the Falcon this time. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, but you, and you have a laptop out? How do you hide a laptop? <laughs> I don't understand. This is funny, man, but, uh, awesome. Thanks, dude. That, that laptop, it's so, it's so concealed. It's so sneaky. No one will see it. All right, let me get some of your drink here. If you guys want to prevent me from capping this beacon, I gotta tell you guys, you are a little bit late. Let me not give away what I have. I'm not going to give away what I have here. Instead, now I'm coming out. Oh, he insta-locked me. Am I on the beacon? No, I think I'm not, right? Yep, they turned it. But you know what? What's gonna happen once my act double damage activates? You guys will not get this beacon, just so you know, right? You guys won't get this beacon. And you will not get a second ability, I got to tell you. Sorry for uh, making you believe you might get the chance, but uh, sorry. It's a falcon. That means you're dead. Oh, we have our friend the Ravana coming in. Okay. Boom. Oh, could you hit me real quick? I need double damage. Come on, sir. I need a little bit more from you. Come on, you have overdrive running. That's unfair. I need it too. He stops firing at me now. This is what Ravanas do. They're like, oh, screw that. I don't want to fight with this guy. Yep. Oh, uh, this is, you know what? I think I will have, uh, I will have this robot in every hangar from now on. This is like the most, the best thing ever. Bring me all those Ravanas. Yeah, bring me all your Ravanas. I can handle it, guys. And, uh, I'm gonna have some fun with you. <laughs> bring me all those Ravanas. Bring him on. I'm ready for it. Come on, let's get him before he gets the ability back. I don't know why you came at me, but you should have really hit behind the corner. I guess he kind of tried, but... Yeah, now we're doing double damage, almost double damage. No, wait, it's not double damage because the, fel uh, the Falcon only has two uh, passive modules. So all he can do, best uh, the best way he can do, is get some additional 50% um, uh, damage. So it's it's... Paired with a 10% extra from the legendary pilot, like 60%, then modules, boosters, let's, and skills, let's say 70%, okay? 70% additional damage. So it's like firing, wait, it's, is he not having his ability ready? Let's hope he doesn't. Oh, uh, he does though, he does. And he didn't have to turn around and aim at me, did you see that? He did not have to re-establish a lock-on, he turned around and kept going. But now you're dead, dude. And uh, your friend next to you? I will have some fun with him too in a sec. Here. He didn't even realize I'm here. Boom. Boom. Oh, I'm suppressed now. Okay. In case you were hoping to bring down my middle weapon, I've got to disappoint you, sir. That middle weapon cannot be taken down. Oh, I'm suppressed again because he had the 50% uh, reactivation thing. Okay, but look what that what this allowed our team to do pretty much the entire map is ours almost <laughs> Because I had them all locked in their base Oh, uh, yeah, Ravanas don't have uh, quantum radar now do they? Oh sucks to be you sucker <laughs> Yeah He's trying to get that, um, that guy that we have here. Yep, I got it. Stalling time. And then stalling more time with a second stealth. And as he comes out of his ability, he's gonna be an easy kill now. Oh, you can tell, you can see the rage in his face. You can see the frustration, the anger about the second stealth. Oh! 
Uh, you know what? Let's stay here on the beacon and prevent them from capping it because that makes them even more upset, I think. Because I will get another stealth in a second here. <laughs> he gave me the time for it. That was hilarious. He is good at shooting uh, generally into my direction. The problem is that this robot is pretty large. It's a pretty large high robot. I'm constantly dodging everything. You see this? He's like wondering why in the world I don't die. Because like every time I know exactly when he comes out of his ability. And all I have to do is just change my movement real quick. And he will waste uh, his entire um, two shots right there. Would be cool if there's like an Ao Chun spawning in front of me. Or an Ao Ming, I mean. And I could just... Living Legend. We didn't have Living Legend this time, didn't we? No, no, no. I don't think we did. Engman Plays. I'm back. Also, Manny, I uh, I am Kato, uh, Kaaton from Patreon. Oh, Engman Plays. It's you. Thank you, sir. I hope I will remember that, but I do sometimes forget linked names. Don't hold it against me, man. But thank you, sir, for... Joining us in Patreon and also, uh, you know, dropping a buck here on the donation. Um, I had some uh, some good teammates with me. I wasn't dealing as much damage as, as they did because I only ran one weapon. <laughs> I ran only the um, uh, the Falcon with just one weapon on it. But you know what? Two million damage for just one weapon slot is not bad, actually. Okay, I did run the, the um, Pursuer for a little bit. Now, the problem is I don't have anything fast, so... I don't think we're gonna be able to, um... To get to the center beacon here. Uh, fast enough to actually catch it. The enemy is dropping in three... Uh, three, uh, stealthing... Uh, Aochuns. Why are they all flying over there? What is it with these guys? Maybe our phantom is gonna get the beacon, that would be awesome. Phantom, you are awesome, man. You are my personal hero. Another Aochun is coming in. Oh, he jumps down. Nice. Oh, I just made a huge mistake. I think I don't... I'm not getting my second stealth now. Because I made this error of uh, activating, uh, activating it too late. Or maybe I already- I still have the 50% left. I don't know. Probably don't. No, I don't have it anymore, but I can still do some damage here. And kill him too. And since we have all the th three beacons, that's actually pretty cool. That Pursuer is, is quite a fun thing. I combined... Um... Atomizer here uh, with the sh lockdown shredders. Okay, I noticed the legendary pilot on the Aochun, which we know everybody has it. Every single player out there who has an Aochun has a legendary pilot because it only costs costs like 10 bucks. Um, and we know that the real thing is not the legendary pilot, but leveling the pilot. That's the that's the expensive thing, not getting the pilot. Getting the pilot is not... Oh, I did still have the 50% thing. So I'm waiting for this guy's flight. Alright, there it is. And I know he's got the legendary pilot, so I'm what I'm waiting. I'm waiting for his flight to end. And then I should be able to take him down right now. See, he's wasting his suppression shots because I just activated my, uh, my stealth. Okay, we're dropping down, but I got this guy. That was worth it. And now, uh, I, yeah, I'm gonna die. But dodging a few of his shotguns, see that? How many shotgun shots is he gonna miss? That's the question. Now, I would like to spawn in the middle. Hopefully, you guys are getting our beacon back. Um, come on, guys. Three of you on the beacon. You should handle it. That's right. Nice. Let's do something here. Let's let's actually run the Titan, too. There's a leech. 
He probably has his ability, but it doesn't work against the Titan. Okay. I'm landing real quick to stop taking unnecessary damage. We have a... Um, a scorpion here who wants to die and the good thing is I know exactly where he would jump back into ah. Okay, we have a Titan firing at us, but I can take a couple of Titan hits. That's okay. I'm just gonna fly out of his range There we go getting this kill. I Can't catch him. He keeps walking to the side where half my weapons are going into the wall. Last stand at him, okay. Let's a let's load up all the weapons we have so we can kill the enemy titan. So that we're full. And he just fired everything he's got. Look, he's done. He's he's done, dude. That's it. You can't do that. Ace soft, in case you're looking at this. Um never when you have an enemy oming in the air, never fire everything you have empty. And then uh, risk him getting in range. Never do that. Here, there's another one. You always need to be able to um, uh, to get in cover back, right? He wanted me, so I took him down. So, see, I'm flying back. I'm now. I I know there is an Ao Ming over there, but I'm flying back as I fire at something else. Because the worst thing that I could do, the worst thing that could happen, is I fire empty all my weapons, and he comes in range. See, I'm almost empty right now. So fighting him right now is not as good as if I was fully full. He also fired a few shots and I also had a uh, half regenerated weapons. So I can't handle it and of course the Titan is maxed. Uh, but that's a good point or a good tip to give you ladies and gentlemen. Um, never let an enemy Ao Ming fully loaded get you when your Ao Ming is empty. Okay? Because chances are... He's gonna have the same speed as you, so you won't fly away from him anymore once he gets in range. See, he's got a bit of a problem there. I was fully loaded, and that means he's gonna- he's hurting. And I'm not bothering with the, uh, although right now I guess I could bother, because he turned around. Okay. Nightingale here. I can't hit him anymore, so I may as well just stop firing. Titan play... Uh, I mean... I, titans need to be powerful because they're titans. Let's dodge him. Let's dodge him. He's got cry cryo-freezing rockets, okay? Let's go this direction. Then he fires. I change direction. Whoa! Dodging! Dodging! And uh, he missed half his shots. Did you see that? He's like empty already and he barely did anything. Because he... Uh, Landing, so ah, oh, I would have now fired while landing, and I would have gotten him. Uh, Manny, Luzor is Latin and means uh, player. Ah, Luzor, that's interesting. Player means something that almost sounds like loser in English. <laughs> kind of funny, funny and interesting. Uh, it's like interesting what languages can do sometimes, right? And one word meaning something in in one language, and then you hear the same it, like a word that sounds very similar, and you're like. Hmm, maybe it sounds it's something similar. It's like an entirely different thing. It's the most different thing you could ever expect It's like in one one in one language. It's like boy in the other language. It's girl like it's, <laughs> it's the same word it's so crazy That's what I like about um, uh, About about languages in general. Let's play the Cerberus again Languages are so fun and variety man. It's so interesting to have a look at them That's why also I enjoyed uh, English in in the in the um, in the school back in the days was actually one of my favorite subjects. Uh, I actually liked it a lot, and uh, I had a, a a B grade, basically. So um, we in Germany we say a, t a two, right? In Germany a B is a two, and uh, and I think in some other countries as well, or many European countries as well. Don't worry, I want to take damage from the guy to my right, because uh, I need to get overdrive damage rocking. Getting him suppressed and locked. And killed. 
With the overdrive damage, that's a no-brainer. Woo! Whoever this guy is, he's firing at me for quite a bit. But he's done. Ooh, that's a problem. I need to get him suppressed and locked, and I did. Thankfully, it worked. I got him suppressed and locked and even killed. Oh man, there are like so many, so many enemies coming at me here. I have to retreat. And thankfully, he's given up to pursue. He's no longer pursuing me. But the Nightingale is. I don't know what I did to that Nightingale to make him that angry. Dodging, 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 and then suppressing as he comes out. Oh, the suppression shot came a little bit too early, unfortunately. But we now have the perfect amount of health. Look, we can no longer re health regen past our healing. Uh, past the overdrive damage, so that's actually pretty cool. And uh, we don't have to be afraid of snipers because we have this energy shield. They would have to do insane damage to go through this in one hit. Let's go for whatever this is right there. Alright, we're in range now. Brrr. Let's get this locked. This guy locked and suppressed. He is locked and suppressed. His ability is gonna run out now. And see how much damage he's taking. Wow! I'm pretty sure he did not expect that outcome. Now his last stand is almost released. Yep, now it's gone. Last stand is gone. Now he's coming back, and now he's dead. Oops, I misclicked. Every time I play the Cerberus, I have a great match, dude. It's so... it's so fun. People just don't know how much fun the Cerberus is. Uh, but it still doesn't mean it's perfect. It still needs to, some love. It is our community robot, Pixonic, and as such, it would be so helpful to make it mm, interesting with also in terms of the uh, module slots. Oof. Okay. Lockdown and suppression. And doing some sweet damage to him here. Man, this guy's going down. Ah, uh, really? He just started his flight and I couldn't even suppress him in time. I must have gotten this guy pretty upset because he's now really following me everywhere. Suppression! Suppression is my rescue! But I guess I've gotten everybody upset at this point. Like seriously, who wouldn't hate me at this point? Look how much damage I've done to these guys. I keep locking them, I keep suppressing them, and now I'm dead because they spawn behind me somehow. Yep, a low-key managed to cap our beacon. I didn't see that. Okay. Where is it? Oh, it's this beacon. Okay. Do I have something that can see? No, I don't have anything that can see a low-key. Um, maybe I can hit him like this. A little bit, I was probably able to hit him. If you want to hit me, man, you've got to, like, come on. I need to I need to get down to the overdrive. Could you do a little bit more damage to me? That's good. And here we go. Having fun with him. So he's capping the next beacon, too. He now capped pretty much our entire base. And now that he's finished with his robot, he decides to scrap it. See? He decided to scrap the robot, and now he's gonna jump spawn me. And I got absolutely no chance here. Wow, we are losing so hard here. Wow. <laughs> Insta face shift. Getting one hit insta face shift, dude. I wasn't even shooting him, and he insta face shifts anyways. Alright, let's see if we can turn this match around. Stupid Ravana. And uh, the Loki is another one of those problems. It's like one of those bots that just changes the battlefield completely. He just went around and just took captured the entire map. That nobody could do anything about it because no one had um, Quantum Radar. I don't mind you there, little Aochun. However, I do mind this guy. 
And uh, the suppression, I, I'm not a fan of too. I also don't like the suppression. But after the suppression, uh, the, uh, this guy is gonna hopefully not get the flight. I'm hoping he might not get the flight ability back. Yep, got him before he got it. He suppressed me. Uh, but it's okay, match is over. <clears throat> uh, f fear my mood. <laughs> uh, wait, Manny, aren't you from Germany? Schöne Grüße. Yeah, I am from Germany, that's right. Did I say something that makes you think otherwise? Yeah, I'm from Germany. Uh, what is it gonna be? Hold on. Uh, bup, bup, bup. Let's do a team deathmatch. So great that we don't have technical issues, right? No crash, no stream problems, everything is fine. Finally, I can just play with you guys. That's cool. I like it. By the way, I've prepared a whole lot of video content for you guys. I haven't yet finished it because I have to first um, record commentary for it. I cut it together, all the gameplay parts. I cut them together and I already know what the type of the video and the topic will be. Uh, but I have no commentary over it. And I invested a lot into my uh, into my own account now. I wanted to uh, also make it a little bit more up to date. Oh, he's... Okay, okay. He got me locked, but he doesn't follow up with it. Um, he's firing from the other side now. Maybe we can uh, make him use his ability for a second here. Like this. Yep, there is his ability going. I, I knew I could do it. And now that his ability is gonna end... I'm suppressed. No, I'm not suppressed. No, I am suppressed. I am suppressed. Okay. I was locked by this Ravana here. Uh, my, 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 uh, our friend here we played recently with, um, boss man. Oh, I can kill you. I, I mean, I don't bear bother with your ability. 1% HP. Yeah, use your ability. I don't care. Ooh, somebody's taking damage up there. Oof, oof, that is sick. Oh, that was unhealthy. So, let's go for both Ravanas and make them all use their abilities, right? As they try and come closer. Corner shooting a little bit. Getting them almost down. And using all their abilities. And... Hi! Brrr. Oh, face shift. Oh, this is just so boring. This is just so stupid. Like, I always played you so hard, I deserve this victory, and you just press a button and it's all good. Alright, anyways, let's uh, let's go go for him. He used many abilities. He's got to regenerate them all. Um, which he's gonna do now. Uh, but uh, he's trying to. I'm trying to lock him. There he is, locked and suppressed. He's got yet another ability, and I have a, a scorpion next to me, apparently. Yep, and he basically just takes me down, man. He basically just takes me down. Now he can come back in. I was having a good good thing going against the Ravana here. I was really having a good thing going against him, but uh, then the scorpion came, and that was it. Uh, I was basically making him use all his abilities, but you know what? Let's drop the Falcon then. Let's kill the no skill with a no skill, okay? Come on. Upravelini. Come on, die already. You have no chance. You can squeeze and weasel as much as you want. Bye bye, dude. With your no skill Ravana. So boring to play against these things. So, bye bye. Come on, bring me two more Ravana. So, three. I think I can probably. Oh, there he is. Uh, but it's not a Ravana this time. It's, uh, it's something different. Oh, those Ravanas are just so boring. So stupid. I can heal up, by the way, so. Yep, there he's flying now. Oh, hi. Cool. He dropped a Nemesis right, in, in, uh, right next to me. Okay. He wants to regenerate his uh, his ability. I'm gonna follow him. I have my my thing active, my double damage. He's using face shift now. He wants that second ability. But sir, sorry to tell you, 
Not gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen, dude. I'm in the enemy spawn, so, um... Am I suppressed? No, I'm not suppressed right now. But I'm doing a lot of damage to this guy. <laughs> Look how he's... It's him, by the way. He's over me. It, 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 it needed to be. It needed to happen. He needed to kill me now. It must... It had to, had to happen. There's like so much rage in this Ravana. <laughs> I took his Ravana and then I took his Auchun. And uh, he looked, he had no chance. Like nothing he can do. Because that, that, stu that, that Falcon is kind of the same thing as a Ravana. Just not as overpowered because it's not so fast. And not so, um, not so, so much damage output. It's just slower, no damage output. Compared to that, less, uh, you know, basically just less meta overall. Okay, um, so we're running the sniper sub -bows. Have I even ran this yet? Yeah, I did. I think I did. He's locked and suppressed. Let's finish this, uh, the Ares. He thinks he can get away with another ability. No, sir. Not gonna happen. He's gonna jump on me. Or he's gonna jump on someone. Not sure if he's gonna jump on me. With a, uh, with a thing. Okay. He's not jumping on anybody right now. So I locked and suppressed um, uh, the Titan. So that my team can do deal with him better. We are totally in the lead. So it's like... We're doing a ton of damage too. See, and this is what I mean. These Hussars, they are doing way more damage than you ex you would expect from something that says it only has, like, what is it? Three, uh, three and a half or four and a half thousand. He's locked and suppressed again. Which is pretty bad for him, because he currently is in uh, in fire and line of sight from, from our teammate. Locked and suppressed again. No, I didn't hit him. Damn it. All right. Eh. Come on, fly up, Titan. Ow, ah, can't get past this huge Arthur. Okay, Arthur, you and me, dude, and the other guy behind us. Okay, that suppression was worthless because he literally just uh, dropped his, his thing there. Alright, you know what? Let's try and help uh, by um, flanking them. When we flank them, we should be able to... Did I get him? Oh no, come on. It looked like I got him there. Don't you agree, man? It looked really like I got him there with the... Uh... Why is he not hitting me? Did you see that? I didn't even have to face shift because he was missing me the whole time. And I'm not even doing increased damage output yet. Now I have. Okay. Now we're having the increased damage for a second anyways. And suppression and lock. Okay. Okay, suppression again and lockdown. Wait, he's still alive? I thought I thought I dealt with him. Alright, overdrive is running. And suppression. This is what they really hate. These titans, they hate it when you keep suppressing these guys. This is so annoying. And now I'm also walking behind him, so that if he wants to shoot me, he's got to have a, a retargeting lock on. Enemy Arthur found himself an easy kill right here. To bring up that shield? Not yet, huh? Uh, I didn't get him suppressed. Oh, it was Abravelin. That's why. It's the guy from before. That's why he was looking at no one but money gaming. All right. Have fun. Get your kill. I had some fun taking down titans and stuff. So that's that's cool. If I could waste your time forever, like, looking at me and getting shot into the flank and not doing much for your team, so be it. Alrighty. Um, we're not running a thing this time. What is there? It's there two two more guys. It's him and uh, 
Ah, we have a Nightingale. Okay. Let's go and get that Nightingale. If we can. He's locked. And now he's... Okay, he's gonna get another flight ability back. No, he's not flying. Apparently, he didn't want to fly. Okay. Oh, it's an Ares here next to me. Okay. I'm inside his shield. Another stealth is running. All right. And... Oops. There we go. Ow! <laughs> that, that hit me good. That hit me really good. I have to give you that, dude. That was a pretty sick hit. So, corner shooting, annoying him a little bit. Oh, that's him again. I, I keep not... I'm not even paying attention to the names at this point. I'm like just... Just running around killing things. Alright. Match is over. Zamos, you look like Plan B. Who is Plan B? Uh, by the way, thanks for the $10 super chat, dude. Awesome. Uh, I don't know Plan B. Um... Is this like a YouTuber or something? Look, no Titan run. Again, 4 million damage. Isn't that awesome? Uh, let me just get something to drink in my glass real quick. And then we're gonna go for the last match for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And um, if, if you have missed the first part, let me just tell you that we have a giveaway coming up very soon, within the next couple of days. And it's gonna be something great all right so uh, stay tuned for the giveaway and also if you haven't yet subscribe to the channel let's end the live stream with a living legend sunglasses and have some fun uh in uh in team deathmatch hmm long range map let's use the long range Cerberus for it and see what we can do. <clears throat> no one spawns there. Look, all the enemy team is spawning on the other side. Nobody wants to be there. Because they also have a spawn there. You see the, the red uh, smoke? That's where their spawn is. But somehow they decided to just not go there. Boom, 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 boom. Wow. Okay, that's an entire... Uh, thing that we just took down. And see, my shield keeps regenerating back the hit points that he can do uh, with his uh, Zeus. See that? He's not doing a point of damage to me because I keep regenerating it. Unless this guy drops my shield, then of course he can come. Boom, boom. Oh, I'm out of range, actually. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. Oh. Okay, I want to take a little bit of damage from you. Some more, please. Some more. For the overdrive, you know. A little bit more would even be appreciated. And then, lockdown, suppression, and kill! I still need more damage, though. That's not, uh, that's not enough. Oh, wait, there's a scorpion. Look. And see, this is why we need a third passive module slot on the Cerberus, so that we finally don't have... Look look how much damage. If I had the um, three overdrive modules not, uh, now, not only would I do more damage, but I would also get into overdrive category much sooner. And uh, therefore, not have to take so much damage beforehand. Oh, I almost could lock him. I could almost reach him with a lockdown. Uh, he's got his resistance running again. I still need someone to, to damage me here. Let's lock on suppress. Ah, he just jumps away at this moment. You know what? Let's shoot the leech. Because this way I get myself some damage. Come on, leech. I need more damage. Ugh. Still not overdriving. And you know what? Later I finally get overdrive. And you know what will happen? I will get killed by some Ravana or something who comes around across the entire map and just kills me. Watch. Two and a half minutes already passed. Oh, he's not leeching me, so I'm not shooting him. Oh, 
Okay. I mean, at this point, I have really been getting onto you guys' nerve for long enough, right? The Titan, maybe? Somebody not, n needs to shoot me. Yes, leech me. Thank you, come on. Do some damage to me. I have to, I, you know, I need to Titan. Okay, Titan, I need you. Could you do me the favor? Yes, finally. Okay, thank you, sir. That was very kind of you. So, going out of his range. Now we're good. All right. He's coming for us, though. He's coming. But he stopped following me, thankfully. Now we're doing double damage. No, nope, nope, again, only 60% more damage. Not double damage, actually, but... But now we have, unfortunately, an enemy on our side. It's an Ares, I think, from the looks of it. Ah, he's activating his shield now. And the difference is quite substantial. You notice the difference quite, a, quite a, right away. All right, so, finally... 60% damage. Trying to run through his physical shield there. Yep, I think we are already through his physical shield. Oh, I think I messed up this suppression shot. Yep, I went through the shield and this Titan is now benefiting that from that. Which is cool, we're in a team. Why is the entire enemy team so far away? It's probably because I'm sniping. Oh, he's corner shooting now. Okay. All right. Whoa, we had a lot of new donations. Hold on. I'll be reading those in a second. Okay. Okay. Can I suppress? Oh, God. Okay, suppress and lock. He's, he's he's leeching me now. That is awesome. He's leeching me because I had him suppressed. Now he's coming in. Boom. And leeching again. But Okay, a titan from behind. I would kill him now. Because he was suppressed again. And I would have now killed him no problem. So let's end the stream with this Ares. Yeah. Because we have a lot of enemy uh, weapons there. Enemy titans. Come on, you guys. Yep. Trying to land in safety if I can. Come on. Whew, that was close, man. But I almost dropped the entire um, thing there. Okay, going for him. Okay, unfortunately, as you see here, he was able to go around the corner. Corner shooting, doing free damage. And then in a second, I'm gonna have some fun with him. Hold on, hold on. Hi! Oh, where are you gonna go now, dude? Where? Oh, uh, that's right. You're gonna die. And Titan then this guy, too. Boom, boom. It's Ares time! Okay, he's starting to fly instantly. I'm in safety for the moment. Okay, got him down. My shoot is gonna end soon, but his life is gonna end faster. He's gonna drop right there. Right here. There he is. And it's the Ravana, of course. Okay. Now he stays around the corner, comes in with his ability. And I killed myself. Ha 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 You don't get that kill with this lame nonsense, man. Forget it. Ravana nonsense. 
screw that. All right, so we have Samus again. Wow, Samus has dropped so many things. Uh, Samus, you look like plan B. Then he says another $10. He says a Latino artist. Oh, cool. And uh, oh, another Ravana. Isn't that wonderful? Let's, uh, let's get them here. Okay, there goes my ability run. But I almost got him down to last end, so seriously, dude? That wasn't very good. And now I'm gonna get killed because his last stand is running and I can't suppress him, unfortunately, during last stand. Ah, I'm gonna get him. Yep, he's supp No, he can't be suppressed. He can't be suppressed because he had... He had anti-control. Why does a Ravana have anti-control? That's the most useless module to put onto a Ravana ever. Ever. You couldn't go with anything less useful than, uh, than, than anti-control. Anti-control prevents lockdown and suppression. Which is exactly what you can remove seven, eight times in a row with a button press. And get faster in the process. It's like the most useless thing you could ever equip to a Ravana is anti-control. That's crazy. All right, so, um, yeah, uh, and Latino artist Samos. Ah, I see. Okay, cool. And then XXX loser Lucas with a $2 uh, euro super chat. Which German state are you in? From, I'm from the flat Pfalz. I'm from, uh, uh, is, uh, I don't know how to say it in English. Baden-Württemberg. Uh, Samos uh, donated another tenner and said, spend 1k on the game. 30 bucks won't hurt because he just dropped $30 on this donation here. Zamus, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. And for those who want to know how hot it is here and who see maybe some sweat pearls on my uh, forehead, it's 33 degrees Celsius in this little studio. It's a very small room, no air conditioner anymore. Two PCs, two screens, headlight, headlight, light. All that is going on right here. And this tiny little studio is to 33 de degrees Celsius, which is... About 92 Fahrenheit, I think. I think it's 90 degree Fahrenheit or something. 92. Something like this. Absolutely ludicrous, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, yeah. Uh, I'm glad I can end the stream right now and uh, open the doors, open the windows and just let fresh air in. Unreal. What, what, you, what, uh, what, what, what you're not gonna do, right? For all those viewers out there who loyally tune in every week, man. That is so awesome. And um, a bit of sweat and a bit of... Oof. Inconvenience is the least I can have in return. So thank you guys all for being here. It was a pleasure to have you guys all here. Thanks also for the support and contributions. Uh, and we guys, uh, we see each other in the next videos. And by the way, stay tuned for the giveaway, right? 200 something will happen soon. So until then, ladies and gentlemen, have a good day, night, whatever it is, where you are on the planet, time zones, you know. And uh, until next time, bye. Oh, and check out that other YouTube channel if you haven't yet. Good Mood Gaming.